very much for coming through a wonderful spring London evening and avoiding the rain. Um, for those that don't know, I'm um, Will White, part of Mercury Studios, and for those that don't know Mercury Studios, we as a company, part of Universal Music, and we're very, very passionate about music, and not only just music, but stories within and without music and films, so, which is very much out into the Sid Barrett film that we're going to see tonight. This is a huge film, huge themes, and a very, very emotive film, which is Mercury, I'm very excited to be part of. Um, I'd also like to say, very, very excited and honoured to have Sid's family here in attendance, which is really special for us all. And I would also like to say some big thanks to the people who have made this film, and it's been a long process, which Roddy will no doubt talk about. <laughs> How long, Roddy? Ten. Ten, ten, years, ten. ten years, ten years, something like that. <laughs> So, as anyone knows, it's a complicated process with these music films, but by God, it's worth it, and um, and I'm sure we'll see with the end result of this. So, without further ado, a big thanks to the team, who I do have to mention, um, who have helped us through this. So, I see Roddy Bagawa, I'm here, Rupert Truman, Orion Williams, thank you very much, the first original voiceover for this film, who's Sorry, Julius Bertram. <laughs> but thank you all very much. Luke Thornton, Liz Silver, Karen Sloss, Jeff Kempin, of course. And also a big thanks to Paul Lowesby, who um, is always, always a good one and good friend. And of course, the late, great Storm Thorgerson, who started this film way back. So, without further ado, I do hope you enjoy the film tonight. I look forward to hearing everyone's responses on it. And I'd like to introduce you to the director, Roddy. Thank you. Um, you guys are all here for the secret screening that everybody wants to come to tonight. Um, this was supposed to be a friends and family screening. <laughs> for uh, the, the, the people that are in the film and um, people that worked on the film, but it's turned into something bigger and better. And uh, I won't be able to thank everybody because it would mean thanking 98% of the room, but there's some people I want to thank, acknowledge. Uh, I do want to thank Rosemary Breen and the Barrett clan. I do want to thank the Thorgerson clan. I thought I saw Barbie here, but I saw, yeah, you know, right Storms. Yes, I, there's Barbie. Um, uh, some of Luke Thornton, uh, who's one of our producers, his family is here, I want to acknowledge. Uh, I want to thank Jenny Spires, who prodded Storm's memories through the whole process and connected us with a lot of people for the film. Uh, I have to thank Paul Losby, who helped me navigate the rather complex waters of the Pink Floyd. <laughs> um, and Tracy Kraft, who also was instrumental in helping us. Uh, Karen Sklaas, our co-producer and editor, is here from Austin, Texas. Came all the way here, but actually she came to buy a house in Glasgow, I just realized. Um, Orion Williams, our producer, is here. Who, Orion's Woo! mom said that he and I are going to work together for the rest of our lives, so we'll see how that goes. Um, my co-conspirators, Julius. Beltram and Rupert Truman, who cat called Rover. Do you guys get the cat called Rover badges? They're on the bottom. I made those over three days. Please take a take a badge. Um, Storm Studios, who I've known for quite some time. Uh, a lot of them are here. Charlie, Peter. So I don't know if Sylvia's here. I didn't see her. Laura Truman, Jerry Sweets here. Uh, Lee couldn't make it, and Dan Abbott, who's in Berlin, who did these the playlist that you guys are hearing tonight. Dan's a great DJ. Um, I have to thank everybody at Onsite, who you guys will see the labor that went into the finishing of the film. Looks and sounds great. We got to mix at Pinewood Studios. Uh, it's very beautiful. I'm very happy with that. I need to thank Jeff Kempen, who, uh, along with Mercury, they've been tracking the movie for years pestering us 
saying when it's when is it going to be done uh, so I have to thank them I need to thank the every man who are going to release the film here in the UK as fantastic it it moved from one theater for our friends and families to the entire complex and the bar will be open afterwards till midnight we're not going to do a Q&A because of so many people but you know everybody can hang out in the bar afterwards um, I need to thank my wife who's here Karen, who lived with this movie for quite some time shall we say and, and my my work around this um, I just a couple of short things I mean everybody one thing that everybody said about this film was that this is the one that was a phrase that was repeated a lot and you guys will see in this movie there's a lot of things that haven't been seen about Sid I mean Sid is definitely one of the great mystery uh, mysterious characters in, in music and um, People were very, very generous. Uh, we got photos from Nick Mason's archive through Tracy that haven't been seen. Gayla Pinion, who I just met, who I've lived with her in the interviews for so, quite some time, she loaned us her two engagement rings, lent us, I would say, to shoot. So you see the engagement rings. Phil Taylor, who's here, who uh, you'll see some photos from Sid's visit to Abbey Road during the Shine On sessions that have never been seen. and. Phil lent us some photos for that sequence. So everybody was incredibly generous with, you know, giving their personal stories and, and, and memorabilia and things like that for the film. So it's been pretty amazing. And I do have to thank the band. I have to thank Roger, David, and Nick, and Sid's estate and family for that. Um, they've all been very generous. And finally, um, do you have to say that there's a presence that's missing? Sorry. Uh, which is Storm. Sorry, one sec. Ooh. That's why I typed these out. I thought I was just going to read them. Um, it's the 10th year anniversary of his passing just a few days ago. And Storm and I started talking about this movie. Pete was there in Los Angeles uh, when Rob Dickinson um, saw my film on Storm and said, Roddy, you should do the film about Sid that hasn't been made yet. And we were at breakfast the next morning, and Storm and I were eating eggs, and he said, Roddy, so what the fuck do you know about Sid Barrett? <laughs> I had a halfway bite of eggs, and I said, well... And I told him a story about how when I was in college, um, my band tried to learn Sid Barrett songs, and we could never figure them out. <laughs> um, and so I said, you know, it's super interesting, this memory I have, and, you know, the music's incredibly honest, and... Uh, modern and heartfelt and then Storm said, no, oh, maybe you are the one just kept eating and he, he basically said, you know, if you want to do a film about Sid, you know, I know everybody you direct it, I'll produce it and I told him, I said, I just finished this movie about you that took X amount of years, I need some time and I love you dearly uh, and so I spent the summer reading all the biographies and looking at the films that had been done and I realized there hadn't been really a personal story done about Sid. And so I came back to Storm and I said, okay, I, I, I see a story here that, that's quite interesting. And Storm's health um, started going south around then. And he literally called me up one day, as Storm did, many of you guys might know this, he called me up and he said, I'm in Los Angeles, we're gonna shoot some interviews tomorrow, are you coming? <laughs> and I said, oh, I need a little bit of time, Storm, but... So he started shooting the film, and I, I, I did some of the interviews in New York with Mick Rock, late Mick Rock, who was great, great guy. And was, it was there when Storm and I interviewed Roger Waters and, and things like that, so we did that. But I realized after a while that was, this film really was Storm saying goodbye to everybody. And so that, <clears throat> so that took on a whole other thing. And um, so this film also is my goodbye to Storm. After all that emotional stuff, which I can hear Storm saying, don't be so fucking melodramatic, Roddy. Um, I was supposed to say there's two theaters. Uh, upstairs and downstairs, they're very nice, big, plush theaters. There's no assigned seats. Uh, please only take one tote bag, though. They're very cool tote bags. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy the film. Thank you. <laughs>